Hello everyone, I'm Avnish Kambuj, founder and CEO of Binmile Technologies. So the name of the company Binmile came from an agile term, binary milestone. Three characters of binary and four characters of milestone concatenate the name of the company, binary milestones. We are into the IT services. We are having our head office here in Noida and uh, we are uh, working for mainly Southeast Asia as well as for India market. And uh, today's topic for me is the future of the world, uh, a leader's playbook to building and retaining tomorrow's distributed workforce. Uh, so let me tell you, when I have started my journey in 2017, then uh, the basic idea is to create a team who can uh, be a tech problem solver and who can help to deliver the values to our customer and who can give more sense of solving the problems by having a technology in place. So while uh, building the company, uh, it's very important to define the mission of the company, the vision of the companies and the values of the company. Then only you will be able to attract a right mindset of the people in your organization to work together, to solve your client problems, to work in a way so that it can be monetized in terms of the uh, overall aspect of uh, the culture. So building a company within a company is very, you know, important and it's very, very, uh, you know, uh, challenging sometimes because we have to find out a right talent and at, a, at this stage, finding a right talent is a very big problem. So we have to find a right talent, we have to you know, retain them and we have to let them grow in their role in a way so that it can help them as well as to the company to have a culture set for the growth of the organization. I have been into the industry since from 2003, so I have seen all the startup and everything. I have been into the startups only and uh, I have worked a lot across the uh, globe. Uh, so the talent management, continuous learning, and the right policies are the things which are very important for any of the organization to, you know, grow themselves in a way to get the things sorted. While I am saying the right uh, uh, talent management, it is all about to get the right talent from the colleges and to get them into a right track of uh, learning and let them ask that what all are the values they have to bring on the table because transparency is one thing which we have to have in place. We are 300 plus at this point. We started in 2017 and 90% of our workforce is tech. We have a delivery center here in India, we, uh, in Noida. We have a delivery center in Jakarta. So there are, there are things which we would have to understand from the talent acquisition pr uh, perspective and the continuous learning is something which we have to keep in our mind. We can't let our uh, employee uh, know that we will not let you grow or let you talk on some of the things which are important. We have to consider their level of learning. So the continuous learning should be there in the engine, otherwise people will not stop. I have seen that somebody has asked a question related to the team, uh, politics, team retention. So if you will have the right policies or the right uh, you know, vision clear to each and every employee, then people may focus on their growth rather than doing some gossips or rather than doing some something which is irrelevant for the growth of the organization and growth for the individual. Right policies are always be important. I am not saying that we could have to be have a richful policies, but the policies which are which are good for you to keep yourself in the business, to keep yourself in the competition and to keep yourself engaged with your customers are the right policies which we have to have in place. <coughs> so, I have heard uh, Hitesh that uh, uh, we have the uh, leaders which we have to make it within the organization. It is very important aspect of every of the entrepreneur that we could have to have an leaders in place. We have to identify the strength on the basis of that you can make a team or a build a team under a particular leader. So identifying those things are always be important. So I always promote a culture where everybody think like an entrepreneur. 
I have started the company 2017 till now. From my company, two of the uh, startups have already been started. So we have to promote the culture. We have to let the people know that what is your actual strength and how you have to work on your strength. So there are different parameters based on that you will evaluate and you will get to know about those all things. I am not uh, going into the depth of it, but hiring a right team, first of all, you have to have a right talent acquisition people in your place who can understand the problem statement and the technology where you are working and growing. Then they have to understand that they will let the candidate know about the company mission, vision and values. If those things are much aligned, then interview is just a process because we have to find out a soft skill plus a tech skill for the hiring as of today. So there is a small, uh, I have tried that uh, how, uh, are you too busy to improve? We are too busy, no thanks. And when it comes to the continuous uh, learning, we have to understand the corporate dilemma and we have to, you know, understand the growth of the employee along with the journey is more important rather than the journey which we are following. Because everybody understand in IT services there is a gross margin, there is a EBITDA which we have to keep maintain about those all things. So those things are the functionary point of things. But we have to understand that how learning and uh, development uh, initiatives are being there in the, in the company. That is one of the most important aspects. We have iteration, we have iteration around 2% or 3% sometimes, but most of the times we can't stop a person if we are giving 27 lakh per annum and he is getting 50 lakh from the market, so it's out of our uh, pocket and we can't retain those kind of the resources. However, it's, it's very you know, important for every entrepreneur have to understand, we have to invest on the employee. Let's not do the practice we have to be in a practice where we can first fast fail. Try to understand if we are giving some kind of learning opportunities, what is the benefit with which we are getting in terms of the, uh, you know, the client feedback and type of the customers to whom we are solving their problem. Daily learning is something I used to tell to my team. Jab mein kaam karta tha, to mere ko aisa lagta tha ki shaam mein mein tab jaun ghar, jab mein apne aap ko self-satisfactory mode mein leke aa jaun ki yes, I have achieved something. So daily learnings for the growth of the organization is very, very, very important. Being as a CEO and founder of the organization, I cannot spend a, a daily time with each and every employee of the organization. But there are some, you know, uh, dynamics through which you will let your employees know that how your company feels about you, how you want to do the things and what is important for your growth for your journey and along with the mid-mile journey. So I read it <coughs> somewhere. Uh, there is a, uh, you know, wonder if maybe, just maybe he was not hired for his programming skills. So programming skills are important. But we have to understand if we are investing and giving something to the employee. So that employee should have the similar DNA which we are following and we are taking care to growth of our journey. So the DNA is set in a CEO in his company. And when the founder comes from an entrepreneur, ke andar se nikalta hai, to that can give the strength to the organization. Because that DNA is something which is very important to set from the day one and it it takes time in some of the cases it takes time in some of the cases it 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 used to come from the team if there is a team leader who already have those kind of dna so that need to be you know aisa nahi hota ki wo har kisi ko andar se aa jata hai it it takes time for someone but it must to must have into the cultural thing <coughs> Programming skill is important. Being as a techie, I can easily understand what all are the things which are very, very important, being as a <clears throat> programmer. But programming is not everything. If a person is not able to think for a 360 view of a problem statement, how could it possible being having a right technological coding sense, he may be able to write a right code. 
So along with the programming, it's always be, you know, important to understand whether he is a right set of the uh, persona to whom we can bring into the team and to get the thing sorted. Sometimes you may have a have uh, you may have a different version, but in most of the time you have to make a decision based on our several level of the discussion within your leadership team or within the the hiring team to to understand it well. <coughs> Sorry. As I have uh, right, uh, said that right policies in place, uh, employees' expectation is something which we have to have let the know. I have seen so many IT services companies, uh, whether they are my competitor or whether I met them in some of the meetings or I have seen their progress over the LinkedIn. The missing part is clearly visible to me because my journey has taught me that it is a very good thing that I have decided the mission, vision, values very clearly, very transparently and it's very open. Anyone can come and uh, discuss about those things even from the pupil uh, function team, which we used to call as a human resources team, I used to call them pupil function team, and the technology team, the first call matters a difference uh, when it goes to some as in recruitment or from the sales side or from the marketing side. It's very important what kind of messaging we are, we are uh, you know, throwing and how does it, uh, you know, come as a result to us. So, Growth mindset is something which is a demand of this time. You have to have in a growth mindset of, uh, 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 you know, in your vision or in your uh, growth, then only you will be able to see that what is the growth which is required at this point to the employee and to the employer. These two things are not a different things. If people say that we have to give the e-shops, if people say that we have to give the uh, you know, stakes if people say that we have to give the yearly bonus. So these all are the methodologies which can vary from one employee to another employee, but it's important that everyone need to understand and address their right uh, choice. Most of the companies are recognizing people <coughs> based on their, you know, what they have done good as a part of uh, implementation, not as a colleague to the company or the contribution to, to the company. So out of 300, if we will find out that how many are the contributors. So there, there must be a calculation and metrics in place which will let us, you know, uh, let us know that these all are the uh, people who are performing well, these all are the people where we have to work a lot with them and we have to let the expectation very clear. And these are the people who are, we are trying our best and they are not doing their best, so we have to let uh, discuss with them and try to identify the path and the opportunity for them. Growth is something which is very important for every employee at this point, whether they are working with me in Benmile or they are working with in Infosys or in any of the things. Most of the people have to understand that lucrativeness is there in the market. So we have to address it in a way which can fulfill our deems. So one person can get a 50 lakh of package for three months and after three months, if the things have not worked out, then he have to come back to the market. Maybe he was on 27 or 28, but he haven't matched his vision, mission, what he wanted to do with uh, the company vision. And then he realized, I have seen it uh, many times, a couple of people have left and they, they came back that yes, we have missed that opportunity and now we want it to be again on the board. So it, it happens. Work from home is something which is a very uh, interesting topic nowadays. Uh, I used to travel to Indonesia where I have seen that 100% uh, of the people have started working from the office. Even it is in uh, go to Gojek or any of the big or any of the small companies. The real problem was during the COVID time, not as of now. So if you will allow a culture where you wanted your people to do a hybrid kind of mode, you are losing something. You have to understand that 
especially in the IT services where we are working or in any of the organization, you most, uh, most of them are, have already seen that work from home have never give that sense of the growth, never give that sense of the, you know, the type of the technology or wherever they have been working. It is a kind of a failure that people have to start understand from by their own. Because work from home gives you a lot of diseases, gives you a lot of uh, anxiety, gives you a lot of, uh, you know, hurdles in order to grow yourself in your role. So my recommendation is that if it is required, then only people have to take it. Otherwise, don't take the leverage of these all things. Many of people uh, have already seen that people are saying that I am getting an offer of this much and they are giving me the work from home. So the acceptance, the first acceptance, what they are considering is the work from home, not the package or the type of the company or the location and everything. But believe me, the time will come very soon when we have a soft skills along with the programming skills and people are ready to take the opportunity from the office are much more required in demand rather than who have an opportunity or have a or alternate package or offer from the industry where they wanted to do the work from home. The person who wanted to do the work from home have two, three different, different aspect, maybe the moonlighting or something, but it's very important for us that why not uh, they understand the, the uh, working from office can give the more advantage in their career, more advantage to the employer, more advantage to their colleagues, and they wanted to grow. I think 1.7x uh, uh, growth if they will work from the office. So choosing a right uh, team setup, like we are working from Indonesia, we have a team in couple of people in Philippines, we have a team here in India, we have a team in Mumbai. So we have to understand how we have to set up a team to work in a hybrid model. It's very important to understand what kind of the skill and the, what kind of the technology can work in an isolation and what kind of the technology which we can work and how these hybrid teams, you know, meet con on a continuous basis maybe in a quarter, two times in a quarter, or three times in a quarter to understand it, if there is a need. If there is no need, then preference will always be given to the people who will come and work from the uh, office. There are, there are many things which we have to understand and uh, which we have to learn from the industry. If a sysadmin will say that today I'm working from home because of X, Y, Z reason, that may not be able to give the justification to the team. Because sysadmin is a person who will solve the system related, internet related, mouse keyboard related problems, not the problems which he can solve from outside of the office. So we have to think in that way as well. So I have uh, drafted few things. The best practices for a strong team a uh, crystal clear documented expectation. So when it comes, the success, the one of the most important reason of our, uh, you know, growth, uh, fastest growth is we have learned these all things well that we could have to have the crystal clear documentation in place when we start the uh, project or when we start any of the task. So there is, there are some unique approaches which we used to uh, follow in order to do the expectation need to be very clear, whether it, it is achieved or not, but it should be very clear from a day one. And it should be well discussed. Because discussion is too much important for every of the entrepreneur, they have to let their team know that, they have to discuss, discuss it as much as possible so that they, the expectation can be very, very much clear, uh, clearly communicated. And there should be a structure like if I have something, I have to follow the structure rather than directly going to a person to whom you know or you know you have met someone on the corridor, you can, can't stop those things. So you have to set these all things very well. Stronger communication, effective communication channels for better collaboration is always important. So whether you are using Slack, you are using any of the other uh, uh, platform, 
we have to ensure that what channel is supposed to ask for what kind of the things and who is the right person to answer on those things. When you, you will clearly set these all things in your organization, you will see a drastic change that people are not worried about those, all, uh, those things which are, which are even not, uh, they, they, they have to think of it. If, if you have a stronger communication, and that is one of the best approach. <coughs> Timely recognition, we have to acknowledge the employee efforts, achievements, and there are so many free platforms like LinkedIn who will allow you to promote yourself, who will, uh, who will allow you to promote your, uh, you know, colleagues give as a kudos. People are, people are, you know, facing some challenges or they are not even able to let them give the kudos, but it's very important to recognize your colleague, your team, your team members. And if there is a change, we have to accept that change, whether it is a technological, procedural, or it's a, it's a kind of a change which is required at this point, uh, at this time. So we have to adopt with, with it. So the last thing which I wanted to cover here is that the future of human uh, enterprise in 2030, what uh, embarrassing the transformative era. So the world is automating, remote collaboration and global connectivity, the demand for humans, and the last but for not the least, developer plus chat GPT equals to super developer is something which we have to understand. So we are not supposed to worry about AI. We are not supposed to worry about cutting jobs. We are not supposed to worry about anything, believe me. You will see this thing in your future. When a developer understand it well, then he plus his expertise with chat GPT can make a huge difference for him. So it is not about the models he is creating. It is not about how he is using it. It is not about how he wanted to do it. It is all about his brain. So don't get into a fear of AI cutting jobs and anything. Only harm can happen by a person or a developer if he understands chat GPT well and he can make a huge difference into the industry.